I need a digital makeover, so I've decided to organize my inbox, files, tabs, and notes using color. Let's head over to Gmail and get started. Hi, my name is John Selwash. I help teachers and students use Google products in the classroom. This may be the worst idea I've ever had, but let's see what happens. We're gonna head over to Gmail, and I know that I can use labels to organize my messages, but I wanna make them pop out of my inbox. You can recolor your labels simply by clicking on the little snowman on the edge of your label and going to label colors. There's a lot to pick from and then you can also select uh, or create your own custom label if you want to. Now, adding a label to a message is really easy but you may not be doing it the right way. You can simply grab your email and drop it on to a message. And you can see how bright those colors are and they really pop out of your inbox and make them a lot easier to uh, view. Now, if labels aren't doing it for you, there's a second option that you can consider. Now, you're probably familiar with the star icon, which is always there, but there is something called superstars that allows you to organize your inbox using color as well. To enable superstars, you need to go into the settings for your Gmail account. So click the uh, little fidget spinner, the gear up in the top right corner, and go down to see all settings. In the general tab, we're going to scroll down about halfway, and this is where you're going to see stars. Now, initially, you just have the standard yellow star available, but you can go ahead and customize this simply by dragging the stars that you're interested in using up and down um, as you see. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, and you'll see how this works. If you click once on the star icon, it goes to the first one, just continue clicking and it scrolls through the available stars um, that you have. So you can see all the different ones. So that's how I'm organizing my inbox using color. Let's head over to the Chrome browser and talk about tabs. If you are a tabaholic, you're going to love this next tip. We're going to organize our Chrome tabs by creating color groups. Check this out. Right click on a tab and you'll see this option to say add tab to group. Give it a name, I'm called this teaching. Pick your favorite color, I'm gonna pick red, and now you have a tab group. Now I wanna add these other tabs to that group as well, so I'm gonna right click on Google Calendar and say add tab to group, select teaching. Same thing with PowerSchool, right click, add tab to group, and uh, we'll select teaching as well. Now, what's the benefit of this? Well, you can collapse those tabs down. So if I click on teaching, it slides them together, giving me more space for other tabs. Now, I'm gonna switch to another window. I have this all set up and I can show you some examples. So here are a selection of tabs that a teacher might have open. So for example, I've got my Google Classrooms open and I have a tab for my grade 12 American literature class with all of the different websites that I plan on using during class. And by clicking on those individual tabs, I can expand and contract them. You can even move them around as a group. So if I just grab the 12th grade class and tear it down, um, now I've got a new window with just those tabs on it. Let's head over to Google Drive next. Drive is a challenge to organize, but color can definitely help. Now the key to organizing Google Drive is to create folders, but folders are all gray by default, which is boring and difficult to navigate. We're gonna add some color. You can change the color of your folder by right clicking on a folder and looking for the change color option. Now you can't create your own color, but you've got quite a few options to pick from. Now there's another interesting little trick that I learned. If you have a series of folders, um, you can change the color all at once. So I have these folders here for archives, so files from 2015, 16, 17. I want them all to be the same color. So I'm gonna go into my 2016 folder and I'm gonna select all of those folders. And you can hold down the shift or the control key to select multiple things. Right click, go to change color, and I can select a color for all of them so they match. This is very helpful if you want all of your you know, fifth grade math resources to be in blue folders or your language arts resources to be in red folders. That makes it really, really easy. Now I have one uh, additional tip to share with you. Um, if 
color isn't enough, you can also add emoji to your folder. This adds a lot of fun flair to Google Drive. Now, there's lots of different ways that you can do this. I use a Chrome extension called Emoji One by Joy Pixels. Um, you can also use your Mac or your Chromebook to get the emoji. Just right click on a, your folder name, say rename, and copy and paste an emoji into the file name. Now the benefit of doing this, not only does it add some color, it also forces that folder to be at the top of your folder list. So you don't have to keep scrolling down for it. Let's head over to Google Classroom and talk about how color can help you organize your classes next. We've arrived in Google Classroom and there's some new ways that you can use color to manage your classes. I'm going to go ahead and open up my ninth grade English class and I'm going to click on the customize button on the class banner. Now you can upload your own custom banner. I'm a big fan of using Canva to design these banners. Canva has lots of free templates that you can use or design your own. A couple of tips when you're designing your banner. First, I would recommend that you use bold, dark colors to really make your classroom banner pop off the screen. Secondly, I would avoid using text in your banner if you can uh, do so. So you can see in my example here, I've put my Bitmoji on the right side uh, because the class name will be over on uh, the left. Um, textures and backgrounds, gradients work really well. Simplify your design uh, if at all possible. You now have the ability to select an accent color as well. I'm going to go ahead and uh, select blue for mine. Now this is going to do a couple of things. First of all, all of the buttons and links inside of your class are going to match that accent color. It's also going to put kind of a sheen over your banner image. And then the third thing is that it's going to change the color of the favicon that appears on your Chrome tab. Now these might all seem like very minor differences, but it does make a difference in helping your students identify if they're in the right class and helping you keep track of this year's class from last uh, year's class or quarter to quarter. I have one more color tip to share with you. I'm gonna head over to Google Keep my digital junk drawer and show you how I manage my notes using color. Google Keep is where I store all of my digital odds and ends. Now, just like Gmail, you can organize your Keep notes using labels. It works exactly the same way. And you can see some of the, the labels that I have. In addition to labels, you can also assign a color to your various notes. So I'm going to go ahead and my conference notes, and you can see that they're all in this red color. That's a color that I've assigned uh, to this label. You can change your colors. There's lots of different color options. You can pick your own color. You can even select some of these uh, fun uh, background images, whichever matches uh, your personality. Now, in addition to color, there's a really cool Chrome extension that allows you to sort your notes by color. It's called Category Tabs for Google Keep. And when you enable it, it adds a really useful banner at the top of Google Keep that allows you to customize your um, notes by color. So if I click on Ideas, it shows me all of my green notes. Now, I went in and changed the label for that color from green to ideas. If you go into the settings for this extension, you can give each color a name, which makes it even better than the label feature. There are so many interesting ways you can organize your digital information. This is how I organize mine using color. Leave me a comment and let me know how you are organizing your emails and folders uh, and Google Keep Notes. I'd love to know what strategy is working well for you. If you're interested in more tips for organizing your digital life, check out this playlist up here with even more advanced ways of organizing your inbox, your drive files, and even Google Photos.